Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on a four-way junction. As you can see in this demonstration, there are four uh, sides that the car can take. There, this is a four-way intersection, and you can see cars can turn left, turn right, and they obey uh, traffic lights. Here you see uh, both cars want to turn left, so they both of them can take the turn but they are careful they are being careful and trying not to collide with each other and take their turn accordingly and here now it's red so both cars have to wait until it turns green and now it's green now they can go so yeah and this guy i think he want to turn right yeah so that's why he was waiting until the pedestrian to go all right so this is what we are going to work on today and before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects i have done from the patreon page and also you can watch all other episodes that i worked on the car ai driving system and also the traffic simulation i leave the links to all relevant things in the description below and now let's get back to today's tutorial so the first step is here so far i was only working with a three-way junction now let's make a four-way junction for us so let me select this so select these components that we need for to make the other side of the junction okay let's duplicate them all maybe it's easier okay so i have moved around the things and for this we need to move the traf traffic collider like this okay now make sure so make sure all the uh, exits are defined here exit is red okay i have uh, removed that so let me set the references for this junction exit straight road is this and traffic control is this one and for this junction exit straight road means straight road is this one straight control is this one and for here uh, we, we have defined for straight and right exit left means this or four the duplicated one newly and this one okay now this should be enough for us to test right now let's think a bit so when uh, one of the cars approach here uh, let's say this guy is coming from here and another car also comes from here if this car also want to turn left and if this car also want to turn left even though the oncoming traffic function we implemented yesterday returns are true we should allow it so i think that is the first place that we need to uh, start working on to allow uh, implement to implement a four-way junction so let's open the traffic control so here as you can see there is no closed loop but just to test a four-way junction it's not a problem mm. right now here we do this check on coming traffic so now this part needs to be a bit different so here first let's check if something hits us if yes from that 
we can break the hit results and access act now if this is a car we need to check if this car is going to take a left turn because in that particular case we should allow the other car to pass so how do we implement it if i check here here we have this get exit road function now basically this is where the car selects uh, which exit to take so this is somewhat misleading now therefore instead of get exit road i'll rename it select exit road compile save okay now here you can see select exit road now here also we do give a reference we return a reference to select to uh, the selected exit and we use this part to determine if it is a left turn so we need to do the same thing in here as well but we can't use the select exit road so i'll add a new function well, let me just duplicate this and get now here we can use get exit road okay and we don't need an input here so here we simply need to get whatever the current exit road and we need to implement that in the car basis get exit road we should return this value okay now here let's change this check vehicle instead of this i'll use get exit road because i'm going to promote this part as a macro that's why i want to do it that way so true means the car is taking a turn left taking a left turn so let's promote this to a macro mm, is turning left true means it is turning left so this yes else means no okay all right now here we have a macro that we can use uh, in here set is turning Okay, now if this is yes, then we can return true. Otherwise, we can uh, if this is turning, then we should allow the other car uh, to take the left turn. So oncoming traffic should be false. That would allow the car to take the turn if this is no that means it is not taking a left turn so it is try doing something else in this in that case we should make this true because there is oncoming traffic and if there are no if this is false then again that means uh, we don't have any incoming traffic so that also needs to be false all right think we can test it now but before that let me check the yield points these two so for this junction when we check for incoming traffic I should check along this line so I'll move it move them like this okay so you have to make sure those uh, yield points are correct for the 
credentials as well but this should be enough for us to test uh, did I miss anything let's test okay, he's taking the right turn this guy is waiting I think he want to take a left turn that's why there was a yield check So it's random. None of them took a left turn. Oh, here I am, is the right turn. try again hopefully they should randomly check to a left turn this time no okay right he wants to do a left turn mm. he should go now yeah Okay, so it worked. Uh, let's try again. Turning right. Okay, this guy wants to take a left turn. He is checking and yielding to this oncoming traffic. And go ahead. Okay, I think it's working. Are there any edge cases that we need to check? Uh, yes. What if both cars at the same time want to take a left turn? Then it should be allowed, but let's see. Okay, that's not happening here. Here neither. Okay, now here we have that case. So, yeah, it was allowed, but this guy waited only because there was pedestrians here so yeah it's working okay cool i think uh, we can stop this episode right here so in the same way you can make this road a closed loop by adding another intersection here or you can just have uh, an intersection only here and complete this road up to this point uh, but i'm not gonna do that here and yeah so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available in the patreon page link would be in the description below and feel free to let me know if you encounter any bugs issues with the system that we implemented here maybe in the next episode uh, well i haven't really thought about what to do next i also need to have a variable speed corridor uh, that that controls the max speed in different sections of the road need to figure out a system for that as well and don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah see you in the next episode goodbye